Now, with all that said, I've had this concept, you know, in my mind for about 15 years, maybe 20 years or more, something like that. And I actually had some communications with a guy named Dr. Brian Whitworth. He's been writing a book called Quantum Realism. For some reason, he uh, responded to me, and I got so I, I was actually proofreading some of his his chapters along the way. I got to proofread um, like three of his releases, and he's he's been working on this book for about ten years now. He's got um, six chapters written. I think he's got maybe one more to go, and that's going to be it. And so I kind of been with him along the whole way. I don't know why. This guy has any respect for me whatsoever, because he's a professor of inf of um, information systems at the University of Auckland, and I'm just this, no, I'm like a nobody, man. I, I know nothing about physics, and I just got a little bit of programming, but, you know, for some reason we seem to be uh, talking. So that's all my qualifications. I know a guy, he's, he kind of likes what I do, and I, I like what he does, and he's kind of famous. So, um, I heard about this chat GBT, and I figured, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll give it a shot, see what it's like, you know, but the first time I'm using it, I'm actually going to ask it what it thinks about my ideas about digital physics, and you're going to see later about something that I'm calling the truth machine, which is really kind of cool, but for right now, we're just talking about bits and bytes, we're talking a strictly analytical approach. To the universe. There's no spirituality whatsoever here. There's nothing like when you die, your mind goes somewhere else, or there's a God that, that created anything, or that there's some kind of like a AI that runs the whole universe remotely, or anything like that. I got a, a really solid approach to everything. I describe where the universe came from and how it, it came about. I even show the programming here and stuff like that, right? So I just wanted to run this by the chat GBT and see what he'd think about this shit. Now, I got to tell you guys, I had no idea what it was like to run chat. I've never done it. I've never even seen anybody do it, okay? I saw a, like a four-minute demo on, on YouTube, right? But I had, I can't believe that this, how <laughs> intelligent this thing is, how smart, how in-depth it is, and how friendly it is. And I just, it's like talking to like a really nice guy that's like a super genius that he just knows everything in the world. It's amazing, I swear to God. So let me show you this conversation I had with this chat GBT. And I swear to God, this is really something because I think I got some kind of unique concepts about the universe and stuff like that. And this chat GBT was telling me, he goes, yeah, man, that's a unique. And I mean, he was like encouraging me the whole way. You'll, you'll see it, but it's, it's just incredible the the depth of this conversation and how this thing is so aware of what I'm trying to relay in my stupid documentation that looks like a madman wrote it, right? <laughs> so here we go. Hey, Dr. Bob. 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 Hey,